Hey, y'all. Don't get well, I was trying to multi-platform, I think is what they call it. I'm going to have to work a few bugs at it. It wasn't cooperating, so here we'll try this again. But uh, as I was saying, my uh, my cousin Randy, he, uh, of course, we've been talking about it last fall, about doing a little bit bigger garden this year, just because it's that time of the year, really, and no other reason. But uh, he's going to jump out there and show me how to really put one in. And he showed up the other day with uh, something a little bigger orange than what I had. <laughs> and we've been getting after it, he asked. Uh, so we've got the, the big tractor and the cultivator, the bush hog. And, man, this looks like a different place right now. We've been out here kind of reminiscing. He said he wants to take over here in a minute. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Thank God for family, though, right? Uh, he's no rookie at farming on this old place. Of course, it's a little different. Let me let y'all look. Now, I'm doing a lot of this for myself to remember. We took down the some little old scrub trees. Let me turn this camera around. And, uh, man, it looks like a different place. We've been getting after it. But, uh... Randy, what was it? we stepped it off? Looks like we're gonna have a little over an acre in peas. A little over an acre. Yeah, so we done kicked it up a notch this year, but this whole ground's ready. We'll uh, we got a little bit more burning and cutting to do, and we'll start breaking it. Found an old rake up there in the wood line. We might drag it across here, and I'm sure it ain't the first time it's been. Look at sissy. Don't go very far away, does she? Doesn't. Yeah, I got talking about going live and. She come running over there jumping on me. I guess she knows what's about to happen. Right. So, I was talking about uh, my Papa Joe. Of course, that's where we get that agricultural bone from. I suppose I didn't meet him. He was, uh, he passed in what, 68, 69, Randy? Yes. Yeah. And Randy's about 85 years old, so he remembers it. I remember. <laughs> you say you remember him pulling watermelons off right over there close to the loop, huh? He loaded trucks right there on the highway right there in front of the house. Mm. Uh, put the straw in there. I put straw in there. Yeah. I did it one time, I know. Yeah. But well, I was little. I was really little. Yeah. They uh they didn't farm this pasture here as much, but uh back in on the back forty they did. Uh, he kept Brookshire Brothers in watermelons there in the fifties really and sixties, didn't he? So that's funny. I went to work for him in the produce department and a lot of them old hats remembered old Joe Alders. But uh, we're going to try to do them a little proud this, this spring. And, and uh, we got chickens and turkeys running everywhere. I, uh, I'm going to have to patch that goat fence, Randy. They, I don't know what they're going to do with them peas. <laughs> they're a little free-ranging right now. But uh, somebody told me the way to tell if a fence will keep a goat in. You heard this one? I haven't. Well, the way to test the fence for a goat, mm -hmm. see if it'll hold them is if you can get water through it, the goat can get through it. <laughs> Sissy decided she's going to relieve herself. Okay. <laughs> That's why they say don't put live animals on the TV, huh? Anyway. No, I just wanted to check in. I'm mainly chronicling this for me. I guess it's call it selfish, but we've got uh, about 270 feet deep by about 80 foot across. We're going to take all this and probably put it mainly in peas and corn so there will be no shortage of cream crowders purple holes i think we may start off with a little pinto bean sow some corn in looking at another old spot over here that uh, we used to farm that's what i remember memo would have that whole row i say memo she had other folks doing the work right. <laughs> at my age though i thought it was memo doing it <laughs> she'd pick them peas though she would Hey, what was you telling me about that old pear orchard? That's, I think you were the last one to plant up there, wasn't you? I was the last one to plant. Uh, That's up there on the hill, by the way, y'all, them woods. Yeah. I was the last one to plant up there and the last one to plant over here on the uh, side Pipe, of the house on the, over here. The high, the high line. line, yeah. So yeah. the last last big garden that was done here, uh, I did. Uh, in fact, I had corn, corn across the road over there. Uh, up there on the hill? Across the highway. Yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, altogether, I had about three acres, so yeah. it was it was a busy year for me. Yeah, we walked, Randy and I walked up in that pear orchard the other day. Of course, the 
uh, what was there about 30 40 pear trees up there mm -hmm. and uh they're still up there but they're rotting and just down to the stump but you can still see them rows where you plowed last time that's probably been 15 years hasn't it yeah, size of them trees maybe long yeah probably <laughs> closer to 20. yeah oh goodness well we're making preparations i know a lot of y'all are starting to break up them them garden plots some of you may have already but uh, it's getting that time of year i don't we might do some potatoes we're running out of time on that it's coming up in about another 10 15 days uh, of course you can get a little late crop in but need to need to be ready by the 14th of february they say but uh, looking forward to another good growing season here on a place that no stranger to it <laughs> but we've made some progress on that uh that old barn still standing but man we're pulling some old metal pieces out of there trees that done grown up through it and, uh, randy pulled up i was out there in the pasture with a little old cross cut saw and he told me to go sit down <laughs> and about five minutes later we had trees on the ground but uh that's all right your mama ain't going to want any of those peas, is she? No. No? <laughs> you can guarantee Thanksgiving's going to have some Crowder peas at Aunt Loretta's. That's right. Ain't no doubt. All right, y'all. Well, I guess let me do a quick roll call, and we'll jump off here. Not a whole lot of stuff to talk about. But uh, just living. Springtime in East Texas. Let's see who all's on here real quick. We'll do a roll call. and I'm going to try to get that figured out. I know a lot of y'all jumping off Facebook for various reasons, and I found a way to do Facebook and YouTube live at the same time. I don't know if I'll be able to see the chat or not. I believe I will. But uh, I think what happened just a moment ago when I tried it, I was on Wi-Fi. And uh, this place is good for a lot of stuff, but not for Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's a little bit a little bit deeper than that out here. All right, let's see here. I'm going to say howdy to who I see. There's Miss Misty up Texarkana Way. Uh, Charlotte. Can't believe she caught us live in West Tennessee. They got storms. Well, we got blue skies, believe it or not. Some gray clouds, but other than that, let's see who else is on here. Why did we get kicked off? Well, I had to restart, but uh, hang in there. We'll get it worked out. Lots of work being done. That's right. Let's see, uh, my, aunt, or my cousin, Carolyn, can't wait for, for some Crowder peas. She's been wearing me out. <laughs> I've got to, y'all don't listen. I got a couple in the freezer, but don't tell nobody. Oh, all right, I'm back. <laughs> There's Andrew out Florida way. Good to see you. Uh, my Aunt Pat up in uh, Pennsylvania. And she she may be coming down this way this spring. She likes to make the Texas trip. Miss Patricia, how are you, ma'am? Up in North Carolina, I believe. Paul's checking in from Australia. Boy, it must be early in the morning over yonder. Good to see you on. I think I got everybody, almost. Uh, Randy's ready to go to the house. He's been working today. Put in a full day and then come in here and cut trees all evening. There's Miss Doris. Brian saying howdy. What's going on, buddy? Miss Nancy. Uh, John in Odessa. Let's see, there's Donna from Anna, Texas. Hope I don't miss anybody. There's Pat, Robert Kelly, Kim, and Garrison. Miss Carolyn right up there on 59. Roy's in Houston. Glenda, I don't know how Neil McCoy does this. <laughs> when he does that pledge, man, he just rattles them off. I want to make sure I say hi to everybody. Glad there's not a thousand of them on here, I guess. Uh, eclectic Alabama. I ain't never heard of Eclectic Alabama. I guess you can just like anything you want there, can't you? Good to see you on here, Glenda. Brenda's down in Texas. Can't be too far from me. Uh, Joanne's checking in. How are you, ma'am? Aggie's in, I think that's a mistype. I believe Allen. Yeah, there it is. Allen takes walks a hatchet in the house. Well, I thought I got to the end. There it is. Stormy in Riverside. There's Miss Alexis. Well, thank y'all for, for checking in. And uh, if you do the YouTube thing, go over there and check us out. And I guess, I don't, I guess everybody says like and share. I don't know about all that, but just uh, connect with it and you'll know when we go live and we'll get it all that straightened out. Just in case, it's nice to have options in case one one format goes down you got a different one to go to so we'll leave it at that i got a turkey hen remember we was looking at that one that has a beard on it i looked it up and that it's a <laughs> it's a it's a hen 
but the only about 10% of them had that mutation and I had to get one of them. So I, I guess I've got a politically correct farm stead. <laughs> That one may be going in the pot this one Thanksgiving. <laughs> and this poor old Tom's missing half his feathers. I'll tell you what. Mm. Think you can get him to gobble? No. no. If we make a loud noise, he will. Yeah, we'll let him rest for the evening. Y'all have a good evening. Be the light. We'll check in with you later.